in this lecture we will mainly uh, discuss about the quadrant nopia although it is uh, difficult but inshallah after doing this lecture you will find it very easy for yourself okay now we proceed further for quadrant nopia i have to divide the visual fields into the quadrants okay uh, this is these are the visual fields these are the two quadrant four quadrants for this right and left okay now here i draw this is for eye uh, this is a right eye this is left eye again i divide it into the quadrants to make it easy now you know here from what emerges optic nerve and then uh, it divide and it form the optic chiasm and then it terminate into the optic tract and then lateral geniculate body and then visual cortex come now uh, here I will divide that uh, for right eye uh, this is the visual field uh, this is the uh, temporal side this is nasal side this is again nasal side this is temporal side and this is the right of a visual field this would be left this would again be right and this would be the left now uh, in the superior quadrant i will draw the whole line while for the inferior quadrant i will draw the dotted line for right visual fields again for the right visual field for superior quadrant i will draw a complete line and for inferior quadrant i will draw the dotted line while for the left visual field i will use the green pen and i will again for superior quadrant i will draw the uh, uh, complete line and for inferior quadrant i will draw a dotted line again complete line and dotted line now you know that uh, from now you know that from the uh, lateral uh, side the where th they will go these fiber uh, these light rays they will fall here and but uh, one addition is that from the superior quadrant they will not go into superior quadrant as I did mistake instead they will go in the inferior quadrant while from the inferior quadrant they will go to the superior quadrant okay this is the nasal side and this is the temporal side similarly uh, from the superior quadrant it will go to the lateral side of eye but in the inferior quadrant and from the inferior quadrant it will go to the superior quadrant now next you know that uh, the lateral fibers from the temporal side of eye they will not cross they will directly go to the same side of the lateral geniculate body in the same way these are the dotted lines okay uh, while the fibers which are coming from the medial side of an eye from the nasal side they will cross okay to the opposite side this and the dotted line which I have shown which are coming from the uh, superior quadrant of the retina okay up till now hope so you have well understand well understand now next that the fibers which are coming from the inferior quadrant of the retina okay this is the inferior quadrant of retina they will form the loop I should use this pen they will form a loop which is called Myers loop of the temporal lobe temporal lobe and the fibers which are coming from the superior quadrant of the retina they will go directly to the occipital cortex uh, through the parietal lobe okay these are the optic radiations now for the opposite eye the same is repeated that uh, they will go here but uh, this of the superior quadrant it will go to the inferior quadrant inferior quadrant will go to the superior quadrant likewise 
सुपीरियर क्वाड्रेंट विल गो टू द इन्फीरियर क्वाड्रेंट एंड इन्फीरियर क्वाड्रेंट विल गो टू द सुपीरियर क्वाड्रेंट नाउ लेटरल फाइबर्स दे विल नॉट क्रॉस गो डायरेक्ट दिस वाइल द नेजल साइड फाइबर्स दे विल क्रॉस टू द ऑपोजिट साइड एंड सेम दिस डॉटेड लाइन दे विल ऑल्सो ओके एंड आई डिस्कस नाउ हेयर वी विल आई विल नॉट ड्रॉ फर दैट वी कर्ट इट वुड क्रिएट अ लिटल बिट मेस अ लिटल बिट मेस और इवन यू कैन ड्रॉ डेट दिस दिस डॉट डायरेक्ट लाइन कंप्लीट लाइन इट इज़ कमिंग फ्रॉम द इन्फीरियर क्वार्टेंट सो इट शुड फॉर्म द लूप वाइल द this dotted line because it is coming from the superior quadrant it will go direct now if there is a lesion at the if there is a lesion at the level of the myers loop and this is the left occipital cortex and there is the left myers loop for due to any reason due to stroke or any reason this left uh, myers loop is cut down or is affected so what will happen you know that this complete red complete red is now will be cut off so i will see in the visual field where is the complete red this is the complete red and it would be there would be no more vision here in the, of the left as well as on the right side as well no view now you can see that the left myers loop is cut down and there is superior quadrant nopia okay superior quadrant is affected and it is called the superior quadrant nopia it is called the superior i uh, uh, i write it here superior homonymous quadrant nopia when the left myers loop is affected and why it is called homonymous because of both uh, visual fields for both eyes uh, the superior quadrant of right side is affected okay the right half of visual fields for both eye and in the superior quadrant so that's why we will call it superior homonymous quadrant nopia okay and uh, you know that uh, the myers loop uh, if the left myers loop is affected in the left occipital uh, in the left uh, temporal lobe but the quadrant which is affected it is in the right visual field so you can also say that it is the contralateral okay contralateral contralateral superior homonymous quadrant nopia now next is that if there is damage to these fibers in the parietal lobe these optic radiations are being cut down now follow these let these dotted lines from where from which side of the visual field they are coming you can see here now there would be no more vision in these and similarly these dotted lines they were also coming in the here so which quadrant is affected inferior quadrant or you know that for both eyes that uh, for both eyes this inferior quadrant of right visual field is affected this is the right half of visual field this is again the right half of visual field so it would be inferior homonymous quadrant nopia okay inferior homo nimus quadrant nopia and it could also be called as contralateral because you know that uh, you know, there is defect in the left parietal lobe but the quadrant uh, which is affected it is in the right visual field so it can also be called as contralateral inferior homonymous quadrant nopia you so you see that if there is a damage to this myers lobe what would be the result there would be the contralateral superior okay there would be the contralateral Uh, superior homonymous quadrant nopia and if there is damage to this parietal lobe this optic radiation this there would be the inferior homonymous quadrant quadrant nopia hope so it would be easy for you thanks for watching